Ben, how's it going, everybody? It is, uh... God. Yeah, yeah. So, it is your friendly neighborhood, Axel Grave, here with episode 68 of Comic Convos. Uh, we've been off for a little bit over a month, both on our daily picture posts and on our, uh, you know, podcasts, mostly because we've had scheduling issues, but also because, uh, you know, Izzy took a trip to Japan, and, you know, it's it's... Things happen, but we're trying to get back on track for both scheduled posts and for podcasts. Uh, this week, with the help of uh, the failing gaming crew, we're going to host a digital whatever visual blah blah blah, you know, podcast. And so joining me today from failing gaming is both uh, Vextris and Siren, uh, who also go by Mikey and... Zach, so if you hear us calling by that, that's why. But uh, how's it going, guys? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I suppose. Not not being a big whore today. I'm always a whore. Get that right. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. You're always a whore. Every day, Michael. I know. So, uh, in other news, hey, what's up, DeAndre? Thanks for joining. No Leo today or Izzy. It's just us. And if you'd like to join us, please request the uh, Discord. You can join us in the Comic Convos Discord today. So you can also chat uh, both with us and on screen. So you don't just have to talk in the chat. Just let me know if you want the Discord link, and I will link that to you. So today, we just watched the Aquaman trailer. And hopefully, we're going to talk about some anime, maybe Red Dead Redemption 2, some other shit. <laughs> Uh, I think you have some things to say about that Aquaman trailer, Lotus. Yeah, the uh, that CG is god awful. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. And granted, it's trailer. You know, it's gonna hopefully increase and improve by the time it gets in. But that the CGI for the Aquaman trailers, both of them, uh, was not looking really good. It's very uh, awkward. People like stand out a lot. If I had to say, it's just obvious. CG shouldn't be obvious. Uh, anything else? You want to talk about Aquaman? Uh, how about, how just about... looked rough. Did it? What about Joyce and Momoa as Aquaman? You have anything to say about that? Oh, no, that's he's fine. He looks like a decent Aquaman. Um, I mean, if I wanted to be nitpicky about it, it's not fucking original aquaman but I mean, it's fine yeah just mostly the hair color though i mean well original original <laughs> aquaman looks like fucking archie but with yellow hair yeah um i don't know you know like that that's really the only nitpicky thing i can have so far other than that he looks perfectly fine as aquaman he's done fairly decent even in the uh God damn it, Justice League movie, which was atrocious. Uh, yeah, it really but, was not that great. So far, it's been all right. And this looks like it's going to be DC's second best hit after uh, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Yeah, I'm hoping, you know. Uh, it's, it could be either way. Let's just say that I like Jason Momoa as an actor. I think he does a good job. I think, like you said, he did a good job in Justice League of being like equally serious and funny. And like you said, if we wanted to harp on it, he doesn't look original Aquaman. Although he does supposedly have the suit in some of the scenes. You know, the, although I didn't like the way the suit looked either. Yeah, it's, I'm looking at some of the uh, images right now, and yeah, a, a lot of them bad. have him in the new in the uh, in the old suit. Yeah. Although there is some where he is wearing the new suit new suit do you have any uh thought thing to say about the suit deandre do you like the aquaman concept stuff coming out uh, there's a lots of lots of different things going on with that like i don't know there's a lot of people who want aquaman to fail including dc fans i feel which is sad why the hell would they want it to fail i don't know same reason that's the, the star wars fans wanted the last jedi to fail who hell knows man they just they don't like it for some reason, and then it's because it's not what they like, they just don't want it to do well. I feel like a lot of people are getting that one nowadays, to this be completely my honest. In my dreads. In my headphones, which are under the dreads in the hat, and I should have put them above. <coughs> oh yeah, this is my new stream attire. For every stream. But I've been talking to a couple people. Uh recently that 
even along that same line of they just don't I don't know what happened, but somehow the franchise that they were used to be supporting is now done and they're just like, Screw it, I'm done. Yeah. Even though I loved it so much back in the day, but now it's just not what it used to be. Right. I wish we could talk about Titans, but I haven't seen any of it, and I assume you guys haven't either. I have not. I'm holding it off until December. Nice. I, is that when it comes to Netflix? Uh, Isn't that... um Or no, that should be when the entirety of it is out. I think it is finished near December, because it's coming out. That's the other thing they did, is they're doing weekly installments. Hey, what up, Cesar? We're just talking about some new movies and games and shit. Um... Let's see, what else about that? Uh, I mean, I guess there's not much else to talk about on the Aquaman front. There's not. We're not even sure if there's going to be a Flash movie at this point. I mean, they still have a director, but I, who the hell knows at this point? It could be anything. Uh, let's see. I'm going to assume about, that it's not going to happen. I probably won't. Uh, how do you feel? Like, you just figured out, uh, or heard about, figured out about Overlord, right? Yeah. Are that you... looks bonkers. I'm probably going to go see it tomorrow. I'm uh, pretty happy that J.J. Uh, Abrams has, uh, you know, come to the horror films. He seems to be doing a good job of it. Looks like a lot of ultra-realistic gore, which I love. Yeah. Got I mean, it's kind of, it lures you in when you're watching it and you're like like the good cinematography and clean pristine you're stuff, like yeah. oh okay this is gonna be like some world war ii shit and, and then, then like nope suddenly, zombies. like nope <laughs> zombies. it's basically literally black ops zombies but in a movie which is what i love yep. about it is it also cops off of the black ops stuff so screw that man like uh hell no see this is why i'm not allowed to have long hair like this because i'd just be using it for emphasis all day and shit just like Bam. Fuck that shit. Throw it over my holder. My hair will used to almost be this long. It used to be a little shorter than this. A little bit. Just just a tiny bit. Like this much shorter. Anyway, uh fuck. I like to curse. So let's go on to our next topic since Aquaman's really just kind of a dry well until it comes out and we do something about Aquaman it. Aquaman comes out the twenty first, right? I think so. Yeah, it's it's soon. It's this month. Uh, that's about it. the. Oh wait, November or December? Oh look, someone in the gamers, geeks, and movie freaks thing, which we just posted in, uh, just posted about going to see Overlord tonight. I was gonna say, Lotus, I'm not doing shit tomorrow. If you wanted to hang out. Uh, December fourteenth, Aquaman. Um, 14th, Titans really? ends. Yeah, Titans ends on the 21st of December. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, but yeah, if you want to go see it, we can. Uh, I'm down. I don't give a shit. I got nothing else to do. I was going to see 21st if to of play, December. Uh, okay, that's not bad. But yeah, the the basic of it is it's a zombie movie set in World War II times with ultra-graphic realism doesn't really have much more details than that i feel like i feel like it's real gen- general and you know non-specific like a good horror movie should be uh yeah let's see what other any other movies i mean halloween wasn't bad it was like par for halloween you know what i mean oh yeah what halloween other? was definitely um it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. The end all be all. Yeah. It wasn't the best Halloween. Halloween. Movies. It was just a good continuation. Yeah, I give it a nice solid seven point five. Honestly, solid movie, worth a watch. Maybe not worth a second watch. Um, mm-hmm. let's see. We're looking forward to Happy Death Day too. Oh man, I still wish I could find a trailer for that. There's got to be one somewhere. You know what? I, I will play a second trailer for Happy Death Day 2 if I can find it. Because <laughs> that movie looks bonkers. So. One more second. But yeah, I think Lotus is right. They're keeping it a big secret. 
Oh wait. No. Nope. That's the original one. Someone has a uh, a trailer, but it is a um, a cam. I can really find her the original Happy Death Day trailers. They're clogging up the feed for it. Hey, what up, Leo? What up, Eddie? Welcome to the stream. We were looking for a Happy Death Day to you uh, trailer. If anyone knows where we can find one and like to link it to us, we'd love to have one for the stream because we just did the Aquaman stuff. And uh, realistically speaking, it's good. It looks great. I don't know. I thought that I was going to not like the original. And I ended up really liking it. It ended up being surprising and caught me off guard a bit. Uh, and it just wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I love the Groundhog Day stuff too, so I think it was great. What do you think, Lotus? I know you were uh, along somewhat of a similar line. Oh, I, I thought hey, it was freaking hilarious. Love, Eddie. Yeah, especially, I don't know, it was it was great. I Did anybody else in the comments see Happy Death Day? Or if anybody wants to join us in our Discord, uh, we'll post the link, I guess, to the chat now. I didn't want to post I... it to the... Uh... I could have sworn that I had it actually uh, saved as one of my movies, but I did not actually buy it. I need to buy it, because that movie was great. It was. It was definitely great. How do I get this site? No... There's just some good quality humor in there that just happens. It's oh, such a simple concept. Why is it? Oh, God, what the hell? Hey, what up, Leo? So we just posted the Discord link. It if you wanted to join us in Discord and talk about the movie and stuff, please feel free to hop in our Discord now and say what's up. Uh, I will say, nope, we're, our warning being, uh, please keep it, you know, PG-17. Uh, we try not to be too rude on stream. But yeah, feel free to join us in the Discord if you have Discord and say what's up. Uh, but yeah, Happy Death Day to you was great. I, I really liked it. I thought it was a great uh like spin off because you you think it to be like this thing where it's like oh but it really is like this almost female empowerment one it's I, a little it's a little interesting that's for sure along that i mean the uh the concept now um if you haven't seen the first one highly ah. recommend we see that yes um the second one is basically the exact same sort of theme but they are involving more characters in it yeah which is good which i uh, yeah i also appreciate and they did they're doing i guess the weird part is it seemed like at the start and that's why i want to see the trailer again so i can go over it again maybe we'll see it in theaters maybe but i would definitely want to see it again i, I want to was... see the trailer again because it st seemed like it started off different and then it went out back to the same and then it was weird i don't know it seemed like off yep. and so i'm excited to see how they'll make the same concept work for a second movie because especially how they got it greenlit that's awesome so fast too the other one only came out last year right 2017 uh yes i believe it was last year nice um nice, nice. i'd have to look and happy death day to you is a nice one so I, I really do enjoy that as well is there any other uh i don't know uh things you know like movies came that came out recently or that are gonna come out soon. Anyone has on either stream or on our side? Michael, input. Uh, um, That's the level of input that I can really <laughs> think of right now. <laughs> I, I typically don't keep up with movies unless you guys say something. True. Uh, that's okay. We can move on to, into the next portion of our discussion <sighs> stuff, which uh, I'd like to do. Let's. Uh, I mean, you guys haven't played Red Dead. You've seen me play a little bit. But, uh, I guess we'll move on to animes. Animus. I mean, if you want to talk about Red Dead, you can. I mean, I can, but I, without, like, any, like, conjecture to bounce off of, I'm really just giving, like, a one-sided review, less discussion. I think it looks hilarious. It is hilarious. It's absolutely Because there's a lot of that real-worldness. Oh, yeah. Scenes. It's so funny. But it's also pisses me off. So, like, all right, 
And you've seen like how I'm just like riding down the street and someone steps in front of me and I run him down and now the whole town just hates me because I um apparently person. some news with that game hey, uh man. some YouTuber or streamer yeah I they don't got remember. banned okay so they got here's banned the thing here's because the thing. of the was of what their actions were in the game yes all right so here's the thing it wasn't just that though all right so let's put some context on this everyone and the post that's going around is this YouTuber got banned because they punched a feminist in the face that is not all that happened so let's go first start with that first of all he didn't just punch her in the face he beats her up uh hog ties we're talking her. about in game right yes in game he beats in-game. her up hog ties her takes her to the swamp and then feeds her to an alligator which he also posted in a non uh nc uh 18 uh section of youtube and that's why he got banned. You have to, if you're going to have violence and crude stuff like that, you have to list it as uh, for adult eyes. Because the eating of someone on live camera, even in facsimile game fashion, is technically uh, rated R. Yeah. But I do, because the thing that they were making the point was like, oh, well, you can kill the KKK and you don't lose any honor. Which, by the way, you don't lose on any honor for doing that either. I don't believe you lose any honor for tying her up and going into the swamp and killing her. I'm not too sure. I know I, that he I, does, I, he has a buttload of other videos of, like, dragging them into trains and other things. Yeah. And Double my guess is that, that little... just the one got reported, and so then that one got seen. I'm betting if the yeah, other ones got reported, they would also be seen. See if I can find the... Um... The user? I mean, like I said, I'm not saying it's nah. fair, but that's the reason they did that ban. Was because of... Uh, uh, like, excessiveness of the video actions or whatever. Team Aquaman, hey, support. Thank you so much, Prove, for Team Aquaman. We support you and Jason Momoa in this difficult time. Well, I lost I, it. I, I seriously think Aquaman's going to be pretty fucking bomb, though. I think it'll be good, actually. Even though the CGI looks trash, I think the story will, is pretty good. Oh, man, I just saw a... Uh... All right, so there's a, that, we'll keep talking about Reddit. Beyond even the uh, the action, but you can do stuff like that though. You can do basically anything. You can feed. You can break into people's houses and and kill them. You can, you can't go anywhere. There are houses that are like okay. Shut yeah, and yeah. Doors he cut did. Off. He has four videos. All all four videos. Um, the one that got the highest one was the one where he feeds her to an alligator. But he has one where he lassos her to a train. Yep. And there's one where he, I'm assuming that she gives up. I don't know what that, I didn't, I'd have to watch the video to see what happened. But he has um, to be the other a... one is he drops her to hell and back. I'm going to assume that's what it is, where he just punches her in the face. Uh, but there's like four videos. Yeah, and they're all along that lines, I'm assuming. So is it a wonder he's getting banned for NSC content? Because I don't think yeah. he's listed as it, is he? uh i don't know um i see to... his tweet though it was youtube closed by ch- uh closed by channel because i killed a female npc in red dead 2 uh they said it promoted violence um you spend the entire game murdering men and no one cares punch a woman and you get banned are you out of your mind youtube youtube team youtube uh youtube creators young he and Jim Sterling yeah, is who else he not, Don't feel sorry for you. Post it correctly. And he's right. If you're going to, he's definitely is promoting his shit with the way he does it. There's a difference between yep. playing through a game that happens to have you do violence. Right. Cause you don't, yep. that guy's full of shit. By the way, you don't spend the whole game murdering people. Half the game you spend helping people. Sorry. I'm over here. I need to be turned toward the camera. He has another, he has another YouTube video. Uh, I believe it's still up. Um, I'm guessing he's just going for bait. He is, bro. He's uh, he's hella clickbait. This one's titled "Beating Up Chinese Man." <laughs> like I said, he's hella going for clickbait, and then wondering why he's getting trashed on by YouTube for fucking up their standards and policies. Which YouTube really doesn't even have to have a reason. They can ban you for any reason. It's a private company. They don't need a reason to ban you. They no. can say, "I don't like you. Fuck you. Get out of here." That's the joy of being a private traded company. Yeah, it's not even money. It's, 
said, I own a company, and if it's not funded by the government, even if I'm a racist piece of shit and I'm like, fuck you, get out of here because you're black, guess what? As an American, that's my right. If I'm not backed by the government funding and I don't get government funds from something, I, it's my government right to be a racist prick. Now, I can't be violent and I can't be anything. Now, and I, nor am I, but that's the thing. Like, people don't respect that. Like, but that's the same to say, like, a business. And that's the difference between that whole other thing, too, where it's like, oh, they're refusing the marriage license. Well, that's not the problem. The problem is you work for the federal government and you're refusing a service. You don't mm-hmm. have the right to make that choice. You don't own the business. You don't have the right to refuse service. Go get a new job where you don't have to refuse service and then try to run for governor and get beat by the person who you refused your license to. Uh, but that's just karma. <laughs> and we'll, we'll stop there. That was just real life. That wasn't even an argument. <laughs> Fucking people, dude. But yeah, like... I, I get it, like, how, you know, he might be mad, but, like, he knows exactly why he got his shit banned. Or take it down, whatever. It, should, yep. it shouldn't be a surprise at all. See you over there, Vinny. With those pins. How do you how do you like my, uh, my, my setup? Looking good? Mm-hmm. Appreciate the watching. Ow. So we'll probably go for a little longer. We got... We'll do try to be 40 minutes, at least 45 minutes. And then we'll hop off. Uh, Let's see. How about uh, that there animes, guys? We want to talk about animes. That time I was reincarnated as a slime. Freaking amazing. Yeah, you're welcome, by the way, bitch. <laughs> yep. You yep. are welcome because uh yeah and i love it too because i'm like watch it michael and he's like eh, I don't know, and then i started watching it and i freaking <laughs> fell in love with it and now i'm pissed i have to wait a week for new episodes yep i'm always right michael i'm always right even when i'm wrong i could have been right so i'm right So, uh, what do you like about Slime Desu, uh, Michael? Um, the overall comedy it has in it, despite how uh, serious it starts off. Right? It's just like, ah, this is my life. Stabbed to death. <laughs> Immediately, yeah, it's like... I, was, I figured it was... When it first started, I uh, I was like, alright, we're getting there some ha- sometime soon. And yeah. then I was like, okay, so we're going to go through a little bit of his day and then maybe they'll, they'll get into it on the second episode. Nope. It's like 10, five, five seconds. Just like, all right, all right. Bleh. <laughs> yep. Burn my hard drive. That was great. That that's a true, that's a true moment right there. Yeah, That was, that was real life right there, bro. That was the realest I've ever seen a death scene. <laughs> <laughs> modern age death scene for the modern man. Oh, no yep. wonder it's getting knocked around. Uh, do that there. Oh shit. And he was a homie and didn't even look at the dude's. Right, he drive. didn't even look. He's like, I won't even look at it, bro. You didn't want to. <laughs> Drops it in a bathtub of water. Just don't Getting do this true, at home. I love that warning. True homie, right there. Right. <laughs> Please do not do uh, this at home. <laughs> give me one moment. My dog is trapped downstairs for some reason. No worries. Uh. uh but- Another good anime was How to Not Summon a Demon Lord. Yes, that was a pretty good one. I think it's that one's somewhat along. I don't know. These are all somewhat along the same lines of Overlord, right? Which is a loose amalgamation concept of the Sword Art Online concept. Not the same, but like kind of a loose shoot off. But not exactly as drawn out. Actually, if I had to make it. Which is funny too, because everyone's like Sword Art Online, Sword Art Online, and I'm just like, but dot hack, bitch. Dot Hack was freaking amazing. Dot, Dot Hack is still probably one of the best anime ever because no one understands what the fuck's going on. And yeah, I wouldn't go as far to say best anime ever. Hey, one of. <laughs> Here's the thing. For what it's supposed to be, which is a confusing mess, it does its be- job beautifully. It is a flaming dumpster fire of enjoyment. That's all I got to say about Dot Hack. And somehow so emotional. 
the music. Uh, Log Horizon was pretty good too. It's true. I like Log Hi- Horizon better the, than uh, Sword Art Online thing. at the very least. I'm back. What did, we talk- back. What, what did I miss? Sorry. Uh, we started talking about how I was how not to summon a demon lord, and then how that is loosely based off of Sword Art Online, kind of just the con- base concept. But yeah, yeah, yeah. then we also talked about how like Sword Art Online, Sword Art Online, but I'm over here like dot hack bitch. Yeah. And then about I feel how- like I feel like uh. All the recent anime have been kind of going along that same sort of line. <laughs> I mean, not all, but there's a big, big uh, push towards it. You still got other stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah, like Zombie Land Saga and uh, oh my the... god, Zombie Land Saga sells. Come on, sells at work. Black Clover. We got other stuff going on. Okay. I just love Zombie the Zombie Land the... Saga is just it, it's a, it was a bunch trap. of Tom fuckery. It is it a, was trap. a trap. Of course, it's a trap. <laughs> It lured, it lured it lured me in with the awesome metal music and then after that it just turned to fucking shit it, of course it was a trap it's named zombie land saga what could that possibly be about i was hoping for high school of the dead you gotta stop hoping why do you keep hoping for what's never gonna happen he's dead lotus he's dead i, I know i know ah. i need someone to carry on legacy. sorry i had to pull my hair my fake hair uh, what else is going down? We got, uh, of course, we have Slime, Overlord. Oh, Goblin Slayer. Duh. Talking oh, about yes, goblins yes. across, uh, <laughs> fuck goblins. And then, fuck goblins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. We need clothing. Why? No reason. Just because. Just need clothing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I love that shit. Or the, like, elves? What is that memory? Nothing. Forget that. Don't worry about it. Forget you saw that. <laughs> Elvus. Whatever. How, how, however you say elf in that language. Um. Orc Volg? Orc Question Volg? mark. Beard cutter? Oh, beard cutter? Beard cutter's dwarf, dude. I don't give a fuck. Orc Volg isn't fucking Japanese. I know that much. <laughs> None of that is even close. However you say Elf. Oh, God. Oh, what else do we got going for this? Uh, Got some BlizzCon news. Oh, yeah, yeah. Update us with the new BlizzCon shit news. Um. All right. So uh, BlizzCon started out great, as usual-ish. Um, it started out with uh, over uh, – sorry – wow classic um announcing that and talking a little bit about uh some of the changes that are coming and giving people just a sort of rundown on the uh what they're in store for it'll be coming out summer of 2019 that's Um, good so people get to go back to vanilla wow uh and enjoy their time Re-leveling so, in classic zones. Is, is this going to be a completely separate thing? Uh, no, it's tied in with your uh, monthly subscription, I believe, is what they're trying to do. So <laughs> monthly subs might go up a little bit. I'm not too sure, though. Well, we'll if, have I to, to, if I were to speculate, right, and, that's probably what's going to happen. And what about happen. the uh, Diablo news? I heard there was some real shitters on the Diablo news. <laughs> go ahead, lay it down for him. Oh God! All right. Um. So this this poor man named Wyatt Chang. He uh he had the unfortunate job of having to announce a new Diablo title. Poor guy. Which to anybody that's actually an okay job, and a pretty damn cool one if you ask me. Having but to announce the problem a new was D- is that he had to announce it. That it was only coming to mobile. Mm-hmm. mobile I heard. Phones. I heard because everyone's like, "I wonder if we can get Diablo 4. Nah, we want Diablo 2 remastered. Nope, but <laughs> uh, we're just gonna do Diablo on mobile. Yep. And every, um, so and that then turned drop. into a giant shit show. It was literally the only thing that anybody at BlizzCon talked about. Um, it was booed horrendously. Um, during the 
during their pre their uh after like blizzcon ended the opening ceremony ended with diablo immortal which is the title for the mobile yep, yeah. uh, game um and then after that it was like a 15 minute break period or 30 minutes or something and then the panel started uh with the diablo immortal and people were still pissed off after um, that time yeah i would uh... at, at, in that amount of time they were they they had not Calm fully down. comprehended <laughs> what just happened um so it was a shit show uh some guy went up there and asked about oh, if God. this was a er, out of season what april fool's just joke happened? Um, um so it was a shit show they made a uh, offhand some comment guy about went up there and dude, asked about oh if God. this was you a, guys not have phones um because someone was asking about a possibility of maybe bringing diablo immortal to pc and that got shut down fairly quickly um so yeah it was it was bad it was very very bad it sounds very bad. Um, I've actually looked at how the playstyle is. Oh, it's... hey, great! You look exactly like Critica and all these other freaking action MMOs on the phone. Yeah, it's uh, they. It looks like NetEase, which is the developer on this um, That's... game. They might Damn. have reskinned one of their older games to increase the. Uh, productivity line or the development time yeah yeah to just to cut corners yeah just so they um, could get a basic structure skeleton they basically just I, and i can't remember where they did this but it reminds me of the well i know what it reminds me of is grandma's boy where he just re skins recolors shit yeah it's just like yeah it's just a re rehash yep. which uh dude that's and then they I, I forgot how much stock they dropped but i heard they dropped a huge amount of stock it off of that it was pretty bad which is um, it was also based off of uh the if i remember right they dropped something like 10 no not 10 percent but like percent or it is it was stupid um but it was also because destiny 2 did not do as well as they wanted it to um, okay Destiny 2 would be doing better if they would fix whatever fucking server. <laughs> it, Michael has mad that, issues. It's just the, it, it was also the fact that they released a game that took out a bunch of systems that were already in a game that people were used to, and then yet we had to wait so long for that those systems to sort of come back or change. Uh, there's a lot of things that were wrong with Destiny 2. Don't but worry, it could have made a lot of That also doesn't help that two of their other DLCs that came before Forsaken were trashy. Well, yeah, the I mean, other DLCs were okay. That was but what they, they really had in the pipeline, man. I mean, that doesn't make it, you know what I mean? It's got to be a certain standard. And not only just a certain standard, you have to bring something new. You can't, that It's the fucked up part of people want the same old thing and then people also want something new. So you have to deliver the same old shit with a slight twist. That's really all people want. And it's kind of sad, but it's true. From what I've heard, um, the uh, – sorry, I'm going to just use simpler terms. The Egyptian DLC was not that great. Um, it didn't really have that great of endgame. It was short. It was meh. The DLC after that, which was the um, – those stupid robot things – Warmind, uh, uh, yeah. something Osiris, and the other one was Warmind. Yeah, yeah the Warmind DLC was better. Um, it had a bit better of an end game. It had a slight bit of replayability that was not there previously. Um, but when they brought out Forsaken, it truly fixed a lot of the problems. Um, but Warmind was good, or, or Osiris was meh. Um, but it's still, you know, Activision isn't doing so well. They reported something 136, 1.36 million. So I don't know what sort of profits they were reporting, but they reported something and 
they missed their margin by 10 percent right which is a small margin but still it's it's not it's a small pretty, margin in business, but it's a fairly it's, large margin. Yeah, I mean, um, really, 10% yeah. is usually along the lines of expected losses in most businesses, or they should calculate that because yep. that's really what it is. At least when you make stupid decisions, you might want to calculate that at the very least. Because uh, I think it we all, a, I think uh, everyone knows that this was a bad decision on Blizzard's part. Even Blizzard now knows. Well, it's rough because a lot of people are saying that it's slowly be of uh, active blizzard. Um, yeah, well, it. Is, I mean, well, slowly some people, is. Some people are saying that it's next couple blizzcons we might see more than just originals there. We might see all our Call of Duty panels. We might see our Destiny panels. Which I would really um, not like. Might, because Some that's just mixing, Activision like just titles. keep them, keep them, in, keep them with Activision. Activision has its own space to fucking showcase its shit. Keep BlizzCon at BlizzCon. Yep. Otherwise, shut BlizzCon down and make a new thing. Like, because honestly, my internet is good enough where I can play on European servers. And the only issue I have is slightly high ping, not unplayable, but I can't stay fucking connected to destiny 2 servers i still blame activision for that i blame activision for a lot of stuff though they probably don't deserve i feel like it's a combination of many things got activision is only a party house that's the thing is blizzard is inside their development house all of the destiny servers is a co-op between bungie and blizzard um, Blizzard provides the servers and the infrastructure and the uh, Battle.net app for them to run off of and the authentication there to keep that game safe. And then Destiny is run off of there. So if anything, it's either a mess up in code or something is wrong with uh, Blizzard servers. But who knows? As far as I know, Activision is not a part of that have bad servers. Because at the end of the day, they're mostly a parent company. I mean, that's a poor excuse, though. Especially since that's like mismanagement at the basis level. It's like mismanaging them forest fires in California. I'm sorry <laughs> for anybody that's having a bad time up there. Um, I mean, yeah, I heard about that on the news last week about Paradise Lost. 27,000 people because the entire town was destroyed. Yep. yep. But, uh. Um, like, how do you lose an entire town to a fire? Bad, uh, uh bad water. I don't know. Fire management. Bad fire management skills. At a federal, what uh, Mr. President told us, I I'd, I'd have to read the article. Can I just say uh, I'm gonna blame Trump? Then I'm probably right, <laughs> even if I'm wrong. Somehow, still his. Uh, but anyways, back to comics and anime and games yep uh let's see what else has come out recently you guys know anything that oh that's right uh how was that been i didn't get a chance but i'm sure it was Good. great um how many episodes did they release this time i believe it was eight for castlevania yeah it was Six. eight but i thought it was supposed to be 12 um i heard eight that was just my thought I don't know. I barely remember what the announcement for it was. Well, you gun done thunk wrong, Lotus. Well, then, you know what? I'm wrong about some things all the time. Someone just, uh, here, I'll put this on for the comics. So you guys know the comic character Gladiator? No. Sure. He makes a very brief appearance in the X-Men animated series. Um... 
But during his appearance in the X-Men animated series, he shows up and smacks around the Juggernaut. Okay. But he recently has a feat because there was a confrontation between the Shi'ar, which is where uh, he is from, and Asgard. Because there was like a competition of gods or some shit. The yeah. Shi'ar gods versus the Asgard gods. And uh, at the start of this fight, Heimdall is like watching the universe, right? Because that's his power. He can see all of creation, basically. Uh, so blah, blah, blah. The gods of Asgard have many enemies, as gods often do. But even the boldest foes know better than to attack the golden city that the Asgards call home. For the walls are ever defended by the all-seeing eyes of Heimdall. Heimdall, the ever-vigilant guardian of the Bifrost, protector of the realm eternal. It is said that his eyes can spy a single maggot in a field of freshly fallen snow from a thousand worlds away. So how does one sneak up on a god as such as that? The answer is one doesn't. Though it is said that even the omnipotent eyes of Heimdall must sometimes blink to keep his mind from being overwhelmed by all he sees. So if one were simply fast enough, fast enough to cross entire galaxies in the blink of a god's eyes, then perhaps, just perhaps, war could come to ha Asgard after all. Which is, sounds it's interesting. Common, it's a common, it's a common theme, yeah. And so, so Gladiator somehow did this. Yep, Speed Blitz, but Chris. while he was blinking. And so somebody is that even within Gladiator's reach of ability. Theoretically, yes. Theoretically, his abilities are increased by the amount of confidence he has to an unlimited amount. So he must be really confident, or. Well, and so the, I just brought it up because someone did the math on how fast he was probably going. Or uh, just a rough estimate. They're like, all right, he flew across galaxies to Blitz Heimdall by the time it takes him to blink. If an average human blink is 300 to 400 milliseconds, one, th one second equals 1,000 milliseconds. That was just in his post. Heimdall being an Asgardian god will probably have crazily superior senses. So let's say half that time, around 200 milliseconds for a blink. At light speed, three to e, three times e to the eighth power, it will take approximately a hundred thousand years to cover our galaxy. So, how many times the speed of light does it take to cover it at 0.2 seconds? If the speed of Sol C is a constant and the Milky Way is one to e to the 22nd meters, then 3.1536 e 12 seconds equals one e to the 22nd meter. Point two. Uh, for the constant equals 1 e 21 meters. And so he scanned it. The scan says galaxies. So he's lowballing him at two galaxies, which is 1.576 e to the 13th power times two being 3.1536 e 13th soul. And if I'm correct. It is an irrational number that is equal to 2.7182818248459045236028747135271327. It's a lot of numbers. Yes, but to the I 13th. I just heard a slew of fucking numbers and my brain just kind of blocked it out. So he's able to do this. And that's how much faster than the speed of light he is at that moment. I, and now, granted, he's not, obviously, the, in stories and writers and stuff, this is just bad writing and research. Yeah, pretty bad. Although, yeah. it's one of those things... So technically, if the speed of light is a constant in the universe and it can't be gone above, as you approach the speed of light, uh, time itself slows down instead... It is, and it's basically as close as you can get to time travel. Yeah. And, well, and that's supposed to be the thing. So it's technically not past the speed of light. He would just literally, time would slow down as he moved for him, perspective-wise. It's, it's a rough... Physics is hard, okay? Physics is hard when it comes to comics. Yeah. Because theoretically, you, you shouldn't be able to lift more than a certain number of pounds because the ground collapses underneath you. That is true. 
it's uh it's it's one of the major statements that they make about a lot of the feats in superhuman things etc or like uh, friction resistance for super speed that's the other thing is like so going by i don't know wait i guess it would be <laughs> it's a lot of that's it's just it's stupid Stupid yep. people. Like you said, is, I like science, but sometimes I just don't give. A f- science is rough. Okay. To my, when it comes to my anime or my or my. Comics. I know, I know. It's one of those things. Like you said, science is rough. Okay. Just make it semi believable, please. Right. Here's the thing: make a narrative. It doesn't have to be realistic. It has to be within your narrative. If your narrative says that magic runs the world and that you know having a big dick means that you're all knowing then that's what it is but then don't break the rules later yeah don't break the rules with that tiny dick that guy can't have the the smartest brain in the world nope not in that world all right i think this is a pretty good stop point i just wanted to make sure we had a cast today so thank you guys from failing gaming for coming and hosting and helping us Uh, and we will catch you guys all later yeah, and we're sorry that the uh, the last comment that you heard is about dicks. I blame Lotus. <laughs> Not at the same time. Oh. <laughs>